Hi everyone! So, as you may or may not know, this is my first video back from Korea. Um, I went on a trip to Korea for family reasons and if you follow me on Tumblr or Twitter, you probably know what happened. But I just want to kind of glaze over that pretty quickly because I don't really want to go into it. But just um, stating right now that this video is going to be very long and I'm going to show you a lot of stuff. Basically, while I was in Korea, I kind of took out the time to um, really stock up on certain products and like just kind of do some healing shopping which really helped but I spent a lot of money so I'm really excited to show you what I got I am really excited myself to use these products and stuff like that so yeah let's get started so I got these two eyeliners I don't know if you can see them too well but these are the Sailor Moon eyeliners um, I'm not too sure who makes them because it doesn't really say. Oh, it says Creer Butte. So um, I'm sure that you've seen pictures of these eyeliners before at least. Um, I really wanted to pick these up because they're so cute. And I also got one for my sister and for Ellen. But these were so cute. I don't even know if they're good or not, but Ellen says that they are really good. So I really wanted to get it just because they're so cute. And like, if I never, if I didn't get it then, then I would probably never get it, if you know what I'm saying. I got a lot of products on this trip so I don't think I need to do a lot of makeup shopping in a very long time so good that's good so I got these heroin make mascaras um, I'm a really big person on mascara I love mascara but seeing as I have really hard to curl like straight lashes that are pretty sparse I like finding like oh sorry I like finding like really good mascaras for my eyelash hair type if that makes sense so I heard really good things about these and I've already tried out this one which is the brown one and I really really like this it works really well it doesn't smudge and also which is the best thing it's a nice brown color and honestly for me it's a little bit hard to find good brown mascaras that are waterproof so really excited about this. I'm probably going to be using this a lot. I really like like colored mascaras, especially like brown, pink, and red. These two are the film type, which I'm kind of like regretting purchasing because I don't really like film type, but at the same time, I've never tried film types either. So I'm just being like skeptical, I guess. So these two are the regular ones and these two are the film types. I think they're both the long and curl ones because Ellen said that those were the good ones or the ones that she recommends. So I got six eyeshadows from Etude House. These are mostly like, they kind of all look like the same color scheme. These two are the RD301. This is the Look At My Eyes Cafe and this one is the um, Look At My Eyes Jewel. This is PK10110. They're the same number but this one is Jewel and this one is the Cafe which is a matte color. And I got three blushes from Mamond and I thought that these colors were super pretty. This one is 02, this bottom one is 04, and this one is 03, just so you can see that. I got these two really, really pretty eyeshadows from Mamond, and um, this one is the Sparkling 01, and this one is Sparkling 14. Aritaum and Mamond and Etude, and basically a lot of Korean shops, they really like sparkling eyeshadows and I'm so grateful because I love sparkling eyeshadows as well. I got these three um, mono eyes. I got the mono eyes in number 98, number 33, and this one is number 113. Aritam, I feel like I really really like their eyeshadows and I've really always been like kind of interested in purchasing so I'm really happy to have picked up so many of the mono eyes because I've heard so many good things about the mono eyes series from like Korean youtubers that I follow so I really wanted to like fully delve into it so I got three more and this one is number 43 this one is number 97 and this one is number 102 I was sure not to get the same ones again 
I picked up three of these Jewel Star Eyes, which I've used in a previous tutorial and I was really excited to pick up some more because I really love the one that I have, which is the Pecan Pie. And I got these three. This one is Havana Coral, this one is Apple Blossom, and this one is Champagne Pink. They're all basically very glittery, sparkly shadows. So I actually didn't pick up too many eyeshadows from Innisfree this time just because um, I have an order from Cosme Shop. If you follow me on Twitter, you've known about my whole debacle with Cosme Shop. So I didn't get too many because I did, wasn't like I didn't remember which one that I got from Cosme Shop. I got this number two. This is from their Trend collection, and this is number two. It's basically a matte color, but it's like a gray plum color. And this one is Trend number six, and this one is like a very nice like pale pink with like a lot of soft subtle glitter and shimmers and I also picked up this Innisfree shading um this one was like the only like color that I feel like would have actually made an impact so that's why I got the darkest one the lightest one was a little bit too light and I wanted something a little bit darker to actually shade my face with a little bit more impact because I feel like I need a little bit more impact than something that's like really light so and the second one it seemed to have like a shimmer so I didn't want shimmer so I got this one this one is matte and it's like really nice and cool tone so I really wanted to try this out I got these two Etude House eyeshadow palettes this one is called the strawberry menu this one is strawberry mojito and this one is called the strawberry fondue this is what both of them look like super duper cute I also got this pouch because I purchased a lot at Etude House. Um, it's really really cute. It looks it's like the same design as the shadows. So this is what they look like if you can see that. Can you see that? Can you see that? And I also got these three cream blushes from the same Berry Delicious collection. These are really cute and I really also like the color and the texture of these cream blushes. They were super smooth, easy to blend, and they had like a nice they have like they're pretty cute colors, so I'm really happy about that. I also got this um, Kate Powderless Liquid for Cover um, foundation because I've heard a lot of really good things about this and I really wanted to try it out. It supposedly has a lot of coverage, it says for cover on the packaging, so I'm really excited to try this out. And I also picked up these two cushions from Innisfree. I really, really do like the Innisfree cushions. Um, they've always just like worked really nicely for me so I got the long wear cushion which I've never tried before and the ampoule intense cushion cover which is a new one for me and I think it's generally just a new product I got these three tints from Aritown this one is the jelly tint and this one is bloody sapphire baby ruby and topaz coral topaz coral is a little bit more orange than it looks so yeah, these lasted pretty well after I swatched it and tried to like rub it off my hand, which is why I was really like, I bought so many of them. Oh, I got two of the water sliding tints and one honey melting tint. This one is the honey melting tint is in number 516. The two water sliding tints is the number number nine coral fantasy and this one is number one in pink prism. I'm wearing this number one. I'm wearing this number one pink prism right now and just to know if you want to purchase the water sliding tints you can only um like when you twist it up it twists up very slowly only like one millimeter at a time as it says right here and you can't twist it back down so just Keep that in note because you don't want to like twist it up too much and then when you like close it, it like smushes if you know what I'm saying. I also got these um, wannabe cushion tints. I really really like this color. It's called Fillmore. It lasts pretty well and I wore this like during my flight back from um, Korea. I wore this on like the 
later half of my flight and after I ate it still stayed on pretty well I got the color Fillmore and the color Angel I really like this product it's like matte I would say and it's pretty creamy it doesn't dry your lips out so it's like a really nice matte because most matte lip products tend to really really dry my lips out or accentuate dry spots that I may have not like seen before so I really like these and then I got this oil tint a volume oil tint in cocktail rose but this is actually like pretty orange red I would say so it's basically an oil tint and it tastes really really good I don't know too much about the lasting power or anything like that but it tastes really good which is probably not the best thing because you don't want to be like licking it off your lip before it like actually leaves a tint so I also got this mirror gloss tint in number nine and this one is a little bit darker but I thought it would be cool just to have just because most of my colors pretty much look the same so I wanted to kind of venture into a bit of more of like the dusty rose nudes and a little bit of darker lip colors I'm gonna show you the um, Etude House lip products that I got so I got this one color in lips in the number BE101 which is like this nude like dusty rose kind of color that's like really in I also got these two Dear Darling water tints and this one is number two and this one is number three and and I also got this Mamond pomegranate flower moisture lip balm when I was in Korea um, my aunt actually like stole my lip balm so I just was like oh she can have it and like that's that I got a lot of lot of lot a lot of lip products from Innisfree I don't know what came over me I got these three glow tint sticks this one is number seven this one is number three and this one is number one and I also got three creamy tint lipsticks this one is number nine number 12 and number 21 so the next two are the real fluid rouge um the real fluid rouge was the first lip product i ever tried from innisfree and i really liked it it's like super it's like almost a gloss i would say but it's a bit more pigmented and a bit a lot more creamy it's a lot more thicker of a consistency so this one is number two it's like a really nudie color and this one is number three it's like a little bit more of a bright coral kind of color the next two I got are these um, treatment lip tints this one is number two and this one is number one this one is like a very like berry color and this one is like a more orangey color but these two are not that pigmented but they are very moisturizing on your lips I got these four vivid tint juice this one is called number nine this is like a really berry kind of almost purpley color this one is number 10 it's like a very nude like it's like a dark beige color I would say almost brown but a little bit pinkier and this one is number four it's just like a basic red color I would say and this one is number one it's a very very light orange peachy color the next ones I have are from Misha um honestly I don't really look that much into Misha besides their jewel star eyes um, but I've heard good things about their products here and there from like Korean youtubers and I've wanted to try their stuff out after I saw like swatches of their products so I got these long wear cushion lip crayons well, this one is nude pink and this one is milk pink so this is what they look like they are pretty much just like huge lip crayons this one is the lasting painting tint in milk gelato that's a cute name milk gelato and this is what it looks like it's just like a bright coral shade i'm really into corals i can never get enough coral shades and this is the poptastic jelly tint in the color hot coral what can I say? I love coral and this packaging is really cute. This is the No Sebum Blur Primer. I love the packaging of Innisfree. It's like super minimal but really cute and like well done. So this is the No Sebum Blur Primer. It's supposed to like blur your pores and stuff which I'm very into. I'm going to show you what I got from Etude House next. I got a lot of stuff. So the first thing I'm going to show you are these 
Play 101 liners. I got the Play 101 and number 5 and the Play 101 number 2. I already have the number... Whoa. I already have the Play 101 number 5 and it's just like a really really pretty glittery champagne color which I just wanted to restock on because I really do love the color. And I got this number 28. I said it was number two, my bad. It's number 28 and I really like this. It's like a glittery shimmery pink color so I really like the Play 101 pencils. They have a really nice consistency. They're very pigmented. I'm actually wearing it as my eyeliner right now and I got these two tear eyeliners. This one is number one and this one is number four. This one is number one. This one is number four. Um, I've always seen these around but I've never been too interested in them but, but when I tried swatching them in store, they're super super beautiful. I'm just a little bit eh on the packaging because I don't think that I would be able to like get all of the product out just because like the brush ends like right over here and then you have like all of this product on the sides and everything like that. So I also got these two mascaras from Etude House, the two curl fix. I got this one in plum burgundy and this one in um, brown. I don't know. So as I said before, I really like colored mascaras, especially brown, reds, pinks, and stuff like that. So I'm really excited to try these out. The next two products I'm really really excited to show you and I'm probably gonna do a pretty in-depth video on these. This is the Tint My Brows Gel and if you're on Tumblr, I've seen a lot of these products like the product shots on Tumblr. This is basically like the gel that you apply onto your brows and then you peel it off and then you have like this tint on your skin. So it looks like you have like naturally full eyebrows and it doesn't rub off easily. I like tried swatching this on my hand and obviously I had to like wait there for five minutes while it dried and then peel it off. Basically what the girl told me at the store was that you um, apply it um, in the direction that your hair grows and then you peel it in the direction that your hair grows so it doesn't like pluck out your hairs. And I also got these two liners from Innisfree and this is their gel liners and this one is in number 8 and this one is in number 7. Basically one is like just, they're pretty much matte colors and one is like this plum burgundy color and this one is just the brown color. These were really nice too. I couldn't really erase them that well when I rubbed my hands so I'm assuming that they'd be good and they didn't um, erase too easily or too fast when I tried erasing them with the makeup wipes so in my head that's a good good thing a lot of people don't like it when their makeup comes off like it's too hard to remove but like the harder my makeup is to remove that just means it lasts really well for me so I take it like a good thing but a lot of people are like annoyed that if like they're mascara doesn't come off easily or something like that so for, but for me I take that as like a good thing I like it if my mascara is like super hard to remove just because that means it's gonna like not smudge and not come off easily if that makes sense I got this one Innisfree shadow pencil in number three and this one is really super creamy it's basically like a cream eyeshadow and it has a lot of really fine pretty glitter the next one I'm gonna show you is this Moomin um, little set that I got from I think Watson's or something Watson's or Olive Young one of those I think it was Watson's so this one is from like the brand called Kathy Cat code I've never really heard of Kathy Cat before but this was so cute I really love Moomin I really like Moomin it's really cute but I've never really had a chance to buy any Moomin products so Basically, this comes in a little set. It comes with like this towel, I think, and then it comes with a cushion. I'm actually wearing this cushion on my face right now. I really like this cushion, but uh, when I found it online to send my friend, it's like very expensive. This is the metal cushion. They also have like a cream cushion, I think, a cream balm type cushion. But when I found this particular cushion on eBay at least, it was like $30, $40. But when I bought it in store, I think it was like $23, I think. So this is the really cute Moomin towel. I honestly don't even want to throw out this box because it has Moomin on it. I actually picked up a lot of like skincare stuff just because um, a lot of you have been asking me for skincare videos and honestly I'm not too good with my skin. I'm not too 
knowledgeable in terms of skincare or anything like that so I really wanted to kind of pick up a lot of skincare products just because I don't have too many actually so I wanted to pick a bunch of skincare so I could really like nourish my skin or figure out how to properly take care of my skin and stuff like that so I'm just gonna show you the stuff I picked up I mostly picked up all of these from Olive Young so I got this April Skin Magic Stone Cleansing Soap and I've seen this a lot from like Arjangs that I follow or like check up on on Instagram like so basically I really wanted to try this out because they always like uploaded like little Instagram videos of them using it to like cleanse off their makeup and stuff and it looked to like really cleanse well so I'm really excited to try this out also got a bunch of Dr. Jart products um, I got these three um, mainly I wanted to pick these up because they're a little bit um, cheaper than they are sold in Sephora and stuff like that and I was like in the store checking while I was purchasing so um, I spent like an hour in that Olive Young and they were probably like looking at me like what is she doing? But I was basically looking the stuff online and asking my friend Yeza if I should purchase this or not. So I got this Derma Clear Transform Clay. I've heard really good things about this, so I really wanted to try this out. It comes with three color transforming foaming clays. One is meant to purify, one is for cleansing, and one is for brightening. And this one is like $10 cheaper than it is sold in um, Sephora, so I wanted to purchase it while I can get it for cheaper of a price. And then I got this um, Sera Midden Cream, which I've heard really, really good things about. And Yesa says she really, really loves this cream. And so I like I looked up online and nobody had any bad things to say about this. And I also picked up this water drop whitening moisturizer I guess um, I really wanted to try this out because I tried out the tester and it was super moisturizing and when you like rub it in it actually does create like water droplets and after like um, my hand was like really really hydrated but um, it was like a lot of a different hydration than I got from like when I was trying out like Etude House moisturizers and stuff like that it was just like a more deep and like actual hydration rather than like the kind of on the surface I would say hydration that I got from like the Etude House moisture creams and stuff like that the next thing that I got was this CNP laboratory anti-oily toner for sebum care and moisture supply so I have um, like a combination skin combination oily skin I would say but my oil has been pretty good for like as of now I've had to like moisturize a lot more because it is winter time I guess so I really wanted to try this out I don't have too many toners and I'm kind of iffy on toners because I do have like ba really big pores so toners are like I don't know really important for skincare in general but you have to be really like mindful when you are picking out toners because if you have like alcohol in it then it can actually expand your pores so definitely look at your ingredients of your toners before you purchase and like your skincare and stuff before you purchase in general if you like look into what is breaking out like a certain product and then you look into the ingredients you might be able to find like a single ingredient to pinpoint with that breaks you out or something like that if you're still here thank you so much for watching the entire video it was probably a very very long video i hope that i can edit it down to like 30 minutes hopefully like i think it's gonna be like super long so thank you for watching the entire video um i don't know i don't i feel like i should add something here say like lip tint or something and then i'll know that you watched the whole video so yeah anyway i really wanted to thank you for all of your kind wishes and stuff while i was in korea with my family um i really appreciate it it was really like kind of nice to hear that like a lot of you didn't mind that I was taking a break from YouTube and my streams so I really really appreciated that you were so understanding and like really caring about the whole situation so thank you so much and yeah I hope you are all having a better 2016 than I am and yeah I'll see you in my next video bye